this short video I'm going to show you how to use the encyclopedia tab here. Now this is something I, I was really excited to try and create and it's certainly been one of the most challenging features of GChess. But I, I really wanted to give you guys, the users, access to information and a lot of information as quickly and easily as possible. Uh, about openings, any opening position, instant evaluation of the position, what you should be playing as both colors and how to face a certain situation. So we built up basically an encyclopedia here, as you can see, of pretty much every opening to known. And this has been a mammoth task to get us into the position we're at. And we are, of course, going to be building upon this as we go on. Um, we're adding in things so you can see my Grandmaster Gambit's course are there, which are very useful if you own them, you can go to them. And we're only getting title players, Grandmasters mainly, to do the work on building this up. So you've got the best analysis you can. And let me just show you how, how this works. So, uh, for example, on the board, um, you can always access this these tabs in two ways. You can always do it directly from the right hand side or by playing about on the board. And I think playing about on the board is the most useful because you kind of know a position you want to look at. You put that position on the board and then the tab will automatically change. But of course, if you want to learn the alakine, you can just click the alakine and we've got this scoring system here and you can look at the different variations if you want to learn that opening as well. So there's many ways you can use it. But I myself was just the other day wondering what to do in this so i'm just going to show you how to do it and this is the queen's gambit so the queen's gambit comes about after c4 e6 knight c3 knight f6 and now traditionally knight f3 bishop e7 and this is one of the main sort of starting positions in the queen's gambit and do remember that we are adding to this all the time but already it's really a mass of information there from top players and for example, if I click here, it brings about the tab. And if I play some more moves, the move I was used to play is bishop f4. And after castles, I was wondering after e3, knight bd7, what to play. And this is where this tab is so powerful. You can just click, load the PGN to the board. And again, you have two ways to view this. You can view it in the ginger GM way as you can see here. And everything with the green dot, if we click on that, has a comment. And this is good for our mobile app. And if we just click through it with the right key, uh, or just go through the moves, you can see it brings up the line. So you can look at the things you want to look at. Uh, the other way to show it, if we just click the inline thing, is the more traditional way. So you've basically got an ebook here, which you can easily read. And I'll just move myself out of the way there. And again, you can just click through the moves here, play the moves, look at certain lines, and you can see all of your opponent's possibilities. And you can just learn what to play with Grandmaster Analysis for this line. You can see here, it will tell you where the analysis comes from. So we're basically paying Grandmasters that we trust, that we know uh, quite a good amount of money to develop this, this encyclopedia. So it's totally unique, totally unique to G-Chess, stuff that we believe in. And this will give you access to all openings and tell you what to do in all openings. And all you have to do is put the position on the board and we're aiming, like I said, a very a very sort of big task to do, to basically have it for all openings, uh, everything. We want everything done. So I'm very proud of the encyclopedia tab. It's, I feel, one of the best ways you can learn an opening. Uh, even if you're a beginner, you can just click on it and you can get this bit, which tells you a little bit about the opening and you can see if it suits you with our with our sort of uh, evaluation and uh, a very very powerful tool you can save your work with the save button here uh, so you can save certain aspects of that and a great way to become a better chess player very easy to access and, and we think uh, a very good way to to learn